Trump's lawyers know that they're not going to win this immunity case. Even the judge doesn't believe that uh, Trump is immune from being charged. Uh, and now his attorney is saying that Trump being charged is a direct attack on democracy. Good afternoon. I'd like to make some comments on behalf of President Trump. First of all, this was a momentous day. This is the first time in our nation's history that a sitting president has decided to prosecute his major opponent who's leading in all the polls in the country. It's not Biden that is charging Trump. It is the DOJ um, and various state uh, prosecutors that is charging Trump. Uh, Right-wingers always want to make it seem like it's Biden personally doing this when it's not. And it doesn't matter if he's leading in the polls or not. The issues that the court had to deal with today were momentous. Whether or not a president of the United States could be prosecuted for carrying out his responsibilities, doing his job as president. It, uh, the president doesn't have the duty to overturn an election they don't like. We can't have a country where every four years there's a cycle of political recrimination where one administration attacks a prior administration when in fact that candidate is leading in the polls and will be the next president of the United States. That is not what is going on. It, nobody has been a t uh, doing a tit for tat, um, going back and forth, executing the previous uh, president for crimes. This is Donald Trump trying to overturn the election and being charged for his crimes. As our legal team, as our appellate team made clear, that would be a disaster for our country. That would be a direct attack on democracy, and that cannot happen. It is not a direct attack on democracy to charge people for their crimes. What was very significant today, and I'm sure you all caught it, is the special counsel conceded that if it was President Obama who was being prosecuted for a drone strike, then they'd have to consider immunity. But when it's not, when it's President Trump, then they're taking the position that there's no immunity for presidential acts that were required when a president is carrying out his job responsibilities. I didn't hear the part about the Obama thing, but again, Trump wasn't carrying out any duties as president trying to overturn the election. That's not the duty of the president. If we adopt what the special counsel wants, if we adopt what President Biden wants, then we open the Pandora's box to political prosecution after political prosecution after political prosecution. If I mean, if that happens, I mean, if past, past presidents and future presidents are charged, for their crimes, well then, so be it. That's what should be happening. Uh, just because a person is president doesn't mean they're immune from crimes. In fact, Joe Biden could be prosecuted for trying to stop this man from becoming the next president of the United States. Uh, that is laughable. No, it's not Biden stopping Trump. It is the Department of Justice and various state prosecutors charging Trump for the crimes that he has committed.